Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you are new here, my name is Heather Lewis and today we are going to be making over this little cubby here. It was just sitting in the house and dying for a makeover. The first thing I'm going to do is take off all of the hinges with my drill. I never saw hinges placed like this on a piece before so I thought it was really cool. But it does make sense because each one of these drawer fronts open downwards which is different from most pieces where they move from side to side. While I was doing this, I also made sure to take off the three hardware pieces as well. Another thing that's really cool about this piece is that it was hand built quite a few years ago and it's actually chicken wire that's in the middle of the frame of the drawer fronts. And I know some people might get mad that I'm about to paint this, but it's my family so I can do what I want with it. After everything was off of it, it was time to clean. This piece was really dusty, so I wanted to make sure to clean it really well, and so I used Farmhouse Paints Cleaning Kit. I've talked about this before, and this product really makes it easy to clean off your pieces. It's an all-in-one, natural, multi-purpose cleaner, which has no harsh chemicals or heavy odors. You mix some of the salt like solution into a container of warm water. Now each kit has directions and ratios for how to use this product when cleaning off a piece. Farmhouse Paint also has really great scuff pads that pair well with this cleaning solution, but I didn't have any on hand so I'm just going to be using a microfiber towel and this works just fine as well. After cleaning I went in with 120 grit sandpaper and just scuff sanded all of the outer wood by hand. That would be painted because this piece is pretty old there's some dings and scratches and i just want to make sure that the wood is as smooth as possible make sure you're always going back and wiping the dust off afterwards so it doesn't get in your paint now because i am going to be using farmhouse paint today i do not have to prime my piece farmhouse paint has really great adhesion properties so there's no need to worry about priming unless you're worried about bleed through or staining I've been itching to do something really bold on a piece for quite a while, so for this piece I decided to go with the color Lotus, which is almost like a mustard yellow, and it's really bold. <laughs> Typically I stick with the neutral colors when I'm painting pieces because I've found that they sell a lot faster and for a higher price, or at least that's how it was in my old city, but with this new city I'm more of a- I'm thinking it's more of an old town and a vintage town. And I'm almost thinking that people who live here might be a fan of these bold colors, so I'm really determined and interested to try it. At this point, I've used farmhouse paint quite a bit, and I really am in love with not only the colors, but the finishes that the paint gives off. I have yet to get into spray painting furniture, so whenever I am brushing, I am always looking for a quality paint that will hide most of my brush strokes, and this paint definitely does that. I never see any of the brush strokes. On top of that, it also has really amazing self-leveling properties. I almost never have to go back and scuff sand in between, which is obviously a plus because I'm saving so much time. And honestly, I'm saving materials too because I'm not having to use more sandpaper. This paint only required two coats to reach full coverage, and honestly, I could have gotten away with only doing one coat, but I kind of have a rule with myself that two coats is the minimum, just because I want to make sure that I'm not missing anything. Now, if you like this type of content, please make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you aren't already. It really does help our channel grow. Small things like liking, commenting, subscribing really does help small channels like mine. And if you're interested in trying out any of the Farmhouse Paint products, which I highly recommend that you do, you can use my code HEATHER10 to get 10% off all the products on Farmhouse Paint's website, and I will also have the links to other products that I've used in the description down below.
I'm also painting the fronts of these, but I didn't want to get any paint on the chicken wire, so I'm making sure to tape off those before painting. After I've done that, I painted on several coats to these, just like the body of this cubby. After the paint was all dry, I put the hinges back on as well as the knobs and assembled everything back together. I had one final thing that I wanted to do to this piece before it was done and that was having a try at antiquing it. I've seen it done with this color a lot so I just had to try it before I thought it was finished. Farmhouse Paint has this amazing antiquing dusting kit and I'm going to run you through it. This kit comes with the antiquing dust, the grease, and a brush to use it on. So I just stick my brush in the grease and then dip it into the powder as well. I already had some on my brush at this point because I had to try it out on the side before I could show you guys how to do it. But it's very, very simple. You just continually put it, your brush in the grease and the powder and it'll make this antiquing look. You can apply it anywhere you wanted. I tried to make it a little bit of a pattern, but also kind of some lines longer, some lines shorter, because I thought that that would look best. If the powder continues to be a light gray and it's just flying around the surface, make sure to apply more of the grease. And now if it's the other way around where the grease is still very clear, you want to make sure to grab more of the powder. Once you're done with your pattern, you're going to want to grab a finishing cloth or what I had is a paper towel and just kind of rub it around because you don't want it to be so bold. You want it to look like it's wearing off or kind of more antiquing because this is an antiquing kit. The grease is really easy to slide around on the surface so that you can spread it out or take some off. I think that it's very similar to Vaseline or at least the texture and the feel of it. You can go back and repeat this process multiple times so that you get the exact finish and look that you're looking for. Once you're finished, it should look something like this. I was really happy with how this looked and for a first timer, I didn't think it was too bad at all. After I was happy with the top, I continued to do it on both the sides as well as the front so that I could get a very cohesive look, just applying both the dust and the grease onto it and then wiping it back off with either a finishing cloth or a paper towel. Now the grease is actually really greasy, so you're going to want to make sure to avoid touching the piece after you've finished it for quite a few days. Make sure you're giving it enough time to really let it set into the piece and dry. Otherwise, I mean, I had a few fingerprints that ended up showing up on it a few days later, so I really had to go back and then be careful to not do it again. At this point, all I had to do was put the hardware on and this bold yellow piece was finished. So let's go ahead and show you guys the final reveal.